Um, good morning from Edmonston. Edmonston is like the uh, French blue collar brother to Fredericton. And uh, where Fredericton kind of felt like a college town, I think it's safe to say Edmonston is much more of a blue collar town. Is it a factory, or refinery? What is it? It's a paper mill. A paper mill. It's big. Saw that on the drive in, and uh, I'm looking forward to kind of exploring it because honestly, I didn't even know Edmonston existed. I had no idea. Really? Edmonston, Rimouski, two French towns I had no idea existed. Huh. Well, you know, nobody knows about Edmonston. And it's, we can't even spell the word. Yeah, it sounds like a French person trying to say Edmonton. That's <laughs> what it does. <laughs> it's, it sounds like that. But um, it's got it's right on the border of the U.S. So it's Maine right across the river. Yeah. And then uh, 10 minutes north, it's Quebec. So it's kind of at the trois Frontières, or the yeah. three boundaries. Here we go. So we're gonna go exploring. Actually, I'm, I'm sorely tempted to cross over to Maine today, just, just to say I went to Maine. A little bit of breakfast before we head out. Yeah. If you're, uh, yeah, if you're not into it, if you're hesitant about couch surfing, maybe you should try it out. All right, so um, I've been talking to my host, France, who's right here. Hi, France. Hi. And I've been asking her, because this is the last stop of like Acadian culture. Like 10 minutes north of here, across the border to Quebec. We're in Quebec French, which is very different. It's very different from Acadian French. And there's a few last bits of Acadian food that I haven't had yet. One of them is chicken stew, which sounds pretty normal, but apparently it's very different. And what's the other one? Ploy? Ploy. 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 And it's like a, a pancake, but it's green? Yeah, it's a buckwheat pan pan kind of pancake. Buckwheat. Buckwheat. Green buckwheat. Green buckwheat. Okay, cool. So, um, ironically though, we have to cross into the United States, which is right across town, uh, in order to get French Acadian food today. Because it's a small town and the only places to get it reliably every day is in the U.S. in Maine. So I'm going to the U.S. today. Welcome to Madawaska, the other half of Edmonston. Uh, we got stopped at the border. Probably shouldn't have worn my little uh, Palestinian scarf thing and with the beard combo. 10 out of 10 terrorist material. But uh, who knows? Who knows why they stopped and searched us? I don't know. I'm not them. But uh, got through. Everything's fine. Um, and we're gonna go get some uh, some tasty Acadian food. Beautiful Canada. like a green color to them almost. Pancakes are like, I don't know, they're very similar to normal pancakes, but there's, I don't know what it is, it's a bit different. This though, super buttery, super good. And these are like bits of dumpling, kind of like dough, so good. <laughs> That's like two meals right there. I have so much food. Way too much. <laughs> Perfect. Mm. The stairs. Uh, 
I love this little fort. They're good? I'm not gonna die? No, no, no. They're really good. Oh, nice place. We're right on the American border, so of course, gotta build a fort. Like Trump says, you know? Gotta build a wall, keep all those crazy southerners out. To the Fort Le Petit Seau, which basically means the little waterfall fort. Pretty little. It's probably like what, 300 years old? This one? Yeah. Oh, I did it. At least 200. At least 200 years old. Yeah. But um, more notably, it's a beautiful view of all of Edmonston and Madawaska. So these are statues representing the six ethnic groups of the area, which is kind of cool. Kind of like symbolizes the, all of the influences that I've seen all through the Maritimes. A lot of uh, a lot of these groups. You have the the Scottish, the Irish, the English, the French, the Acadians, and the Aboriginal populations. I feel like we gave three to the English over here. You only gave one to the Aboriginal, but there was a lot of different groups here, so I mean, there's a little bit of Eurocentricity here, but whatever. Yeah, yeah. Something else, like a pipe or a tool or something, and this guy, what does he get? He just holds his hands? Uh, freeze. Gypped, man. Gypped. He's just freezing his, he's freezing his nublets off. He knows, this guy knows how cold the winters get here. Yeah. These guys are all, yeah, they you know, know they haven't figured it out yet. Okay, do Irish people have big ears? Is that a thing? This guy has gigantic ears. Huh. Some of the like dorkiest statues I've ever seen, <laughs> but they're cool, whatever. Yeah, they were all made with a chainsaw. Yeah, with a chainsaw. That's proper Canadian art right there. Chainsaw art.
Okay, welcome to Quebec City, and more importantly, welcome to the Plains of Abraham. These plains are kind of important to me because my fifth great-grandfather and his two brothers fought right here for the fate of New France. At the time, it was a battle between the French and the English. One Commander Wolf on the English side. I uh, can't remember the commander on the French side. I think both of them died that day, but the English won by climbing up the side of the cliff from the river, just over here, climbing up this cliff and uh, managing to get up here where they didn't think that they had managed to do, and so they didn't prepare for it, and the French lost. It's a really important battle in the history of Canada. Sorry, yeah, so on the English side, Commander Wolf, he died during this battle. They have like this big famous painting of him all being like, Oh, I am the dead. And then everyone will be like, oh no, Wolf, you're the greatest. He made us climb a mountain. And then we beat the French. You know, Canadian history. Ain't it crazy? So this is the ancient walled city. Ancient. I mean like, not ancient, ancient. That would have been what they were defending. See, it's all over here too. Doing a trip here. Isn't that cool? Walled city in North America. Yeah, we have those. Quebec City, one of the oldest cities in North America. Colonial cities, I should say. And uh, there's the fort, there's the walls, there's the plains. And uh, yeah, fifth great grandfather. One of these guys probably looked nothing like me out, you know, killing folks, doing stuff. Uh, can't imagine what that would have been like though. As much as there's a heritage of French and English and there's, you know, bloodlines and stuff, still like what people identify with, which team they're backing. It's kind of, kind of iffy. It can be, it's like our civil war, you know? Anyway. Okay, first of all, um, I suck at French, like really bad, and totally misunderstood what day of the week it was, or I don't know what the freaking hell I was thinking. I'm not an intelligent man, I screwed up my plans, I'm not couch surfing with Sophie tonight, um, so I don't know where to stay, so then I contacted a couple hostels, they're all like small hotels in this city, and they're quite expensive, I finally found one. But, uh, remember how my phone sucks and it's all broken and stuff? Yeah, I got halfway there and my phone's dead. I have no idea how to get there. I don't even remember the name of it. And then I'm going down the highway. And look at this. A rock comes off the back of one of those big dump trucks. Smashes right through the freaking windshield. Nearly takes my head off. Like, I'm glad I'm alive, but... There goes my windshield. Oh, I just, um... I want my van back. I'm sick and tired of like the chargers being broken, my phone being broken, my freaking windshield's now broken. I, I suck at planning stuff. I suck at it so much. I, I'm gonna go in here and see if somebody has a charger for a phone. None of mine work, they're all fried. Apparently, the word hostel doesn't exist in the French language. I have no idea what the trend. Apparently the word hostel doesn't exist in the French language. I have no idea what it translates to and I I can't communicate with these people. My phone, I just bought a charger from the gas station, so I'm gonna try and find out where I am and where I'm going. Then I'm just gonna go to bed. I'm just so sick of this.